This is the third time I am coming to you. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. I told you before, and foretell you as if I were present the second time and, being absent, now I write to those who heretofore have sinned, and to all others, that, if I come again, I will not spare. Since ye seek a proof of Christ speaking in me, which toward you is not weak, but is mighty in you. For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he liveth by the power of God. For we also are weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of God toward you. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Test your own selves. Know ye not yourselves how Jesus Christ is in you, unless ye be reprobates? But I trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates. Now I pray to God that ye do no evil, not that we should appear to be approved, but that ye should do that which is honest, though we be as reprobates. For we can do nothing against the truth, but only for the truth. For we are glad when we are weak and yet are strong. And this also we wish, even your perfection. Therefore I write these things being absent, lest, were I present, I should use sharpness, according to the power which the Lord hath given me for edification, and not for destruction. Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect, be of good comfort, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace shall be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints salute you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Ghost, be with you all. Amen.